if the Ravens running the ball on that last play of the game really got you that upset, then maybe you aren't paying attention to the scoreboard. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube, Team Keep It Clean, what's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, man, these Broncos are heated right now. They are upset fans, coaches, players, media guys. They are all upset with John Harbaugh and the Ravens for the fact that the Ravens, they had the game put away. Game was over. All they had to do, kneel the ball. That's it. Kneel the ball, walk out of there with a win. Capiche? Done? Finish? Finito? Over. But John Harbaugh, not even Lamar Jack, John Harbaugh was like, mm, nah, I'm straight. We are so close to this record, this historic record, this record that would tie us with the Pittsburgh Steelers as the team with the most games in a row rushing for at least 100 yards. This record has been sitting there, it's been chilling, it's been vibing, keeping to itself, just relaxing, and ain't nobody touched it. But each and every year, each and every game, we get closer and closer, and closer, and closer, and now this is the game, and we've been struggling all game long. Shout out to the Broncos defense, by the way, because the Broncos defense, they held it down. Run defense, not players defense. But the Broncos run defense, they made life so difficult for the Ravens running the ball. And they must have took the blueprint from the Lions last week, because the Lions did the same thing. The Ravens just could not run like that. And it, it was a struggle literally all game long. Now, it was more of a struggle this week than it was last week, but we saw what happened when the Ravens couldn't run the ball. You know, the, you know them old Ravens where if you took away the run, it was like, oh, man, what are we going to do? Because when we got to go to plan B, it ain't always the prettiest. We could, we could do some stuff now, but it ain't always the prettiest. But now, these Ravens, these ain't the same old Ravens. When they go to plan B, oh, you would think that plan B was actually plan A because they executed it so well. And now this team, pass first team, I don't know. It all depends on the game. But they have that ability to beat you in multiple ways. So I'm glad that the Lions stopped the Ravens from running last week, even though they got like 160 rushing yards, something like that. I'm glad the Broncos stopped the Ravens from running this week because i mean they they aired it out they aired it out so with that being said they were so close to that record it was right there and the fact that they had to fight they had to kick they had to scratch they had to claw their way to get to like 95 rushing yards throughout the game and it was right it was right there in front of their faces and they could have took the knee and that would have been fine but i'm not mad at them at all for going for the record I do not feel like it was bad sportsmanship. Reason being because they're not, they weren't rubbing anything in the Broncos' faces. They weren't doing anything like that. They weren't even running up the score. And even if they ran up the score, who cares? Trust me, as Ravens fans, we have been on both sides of that, of, of the running up the score. Because I, I take you back to the Super Bowl year. And it was actually my wife's first Ravens game. We went to the Ravens versus the Raiders in, in 2012 season. And boy, them Ravens, they were pow, pow. They were knocking them Raiders out, beating them down bad. And the Ravens were up big, up by big points. I forgot what the exact score was, but they lined up for a field goal. And you had Justin Tucker, this undrafted rookie kicker free agent guy. He's been pretty good so far this season, but he was lining up for a field goal. Did the Ravens kick the field goal? Nope. They did a fake field goal while they were up big. They were up big. Game pretty much already decided, but they did the fake field goal and they converted it. So, <laughs> so they've been on that side where it looks like they're running up the score. And me, I, I had no problem with teams running up the score. Why? Because the game is for 60 minutes. And as a team, as players, as coaches, as front office, your job is to build a team that not only competes for 60 minutes, because you can compete, but your job is to win. And with your job, the way that you win is by bottom line, is by scoring more points than the other team. So when teams, when they run it up, I got zero problem with it. Zero problem with it because we've seen a lot of crazy stuff happen in the NFL over the years, and deficits 
I mean, the big leads can, they can race like that. Teams being down, having deficits, they can come back like that. It, it happens. Crazy stuff happens. So you don't want to be on the receiving end of, getting, of having a big lead and the team coming back. And, of course, you don't want to be, be on the receiving end of a beatdown either. So that's why it's 60 minutes. You got to play literally all 60 minutes. And, I mean, Ravens, they'll tell you. Because over the, the, past, the past three weeks before the Broncos game, they were playing a lot more than 60 minutes. Oh, boy, them boys, they stress us out, man. They stress us all the way out. But anyway, um, and then I, I, I remind you of the following year after the Ravens won a Super Bowl. Couldn't even get a home game, by the way. Couldn't even get a home game opener. Because I don't know if it was a concert going on in Baltimore. I don't know if it was a baseball. I forgot what it was. But they were like, nah, we don't want all this traffic in Baltimore like that because it's a lot going on. But anyway, so Ravens, the Super Bowl champions, the defending Super Bowl champions have to play their opening game Thursday night on the road. Where they have to go? Oh, place that they were familiar, familiar, very familiar with. Denver. Oh, wow, look how everything correlates. But they went to Denver. And Peyton Manning... <laughs> He had a sour taste in his mouth from the previous year because there was a little something that happened in the playoffs. We don't need to talk about it. We don't need to relive it. But shout out to Jacoby Jones. Shout out to Joe Flacco. Shout out to the Ravens. Shout out to Corey Graham. Shout out to Justin Tucker. Shout out to all them boys. But Peyton Manning had a sour taste in his mouth. And this dude threw for like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think he threw for seven touchdowns. He threw for six or seven touchdowns on us that game. He didn't have to. He didn't have to throw four of them touchdowns. But guess what? The Ravens weren't stopping it. So why should he stop throwing for all these touchdowns if the Ravens aren't stopping it? So that brings us back to the game yesterday against the Broncos. If Ravens, again, 60-minute game, and if Ravens are doing something and you can't stop it, why should they stop doing it? And if they're so close to the record, if the record is literally sitting right there in their face, is sitting right there in front of their face. Why should they be like, you know what? We're four or five yards away from the record, but let's just take the... No, get the record, man. You got the opportunity to, to, to create history for your team, for your players. Like John Harbaugh said, hey, this is something that these dudes, they're going to remember for the rest of their lives because they were part of it. So w why not? Why not? It seems as if a, a lot of media... Not, usually we used to this with Lamar Jackson. Not with John Harbaugh, though. Not with John Harbaugh. A lot of media is trying to create this big story out of this. They're trying to make it something that it's really not. It's not poor sportsmanship. This is actually great sportsmanship. This is actually like sort of nudging the Steelers and like, hey, what's up, big heads? We here too now. We right here with the record with you. Y'all better be rooting for them Colts run defense next week. So it, it wasn't anything against the Broncos. It, like I said, it wasn't throwing in anything in the Broncos' face. It wasn't rubbing anything in their faces, anything like that. No. This was just simply so the Ravens could try to get that record and, and continue the streak. That was it. So nothing more, nothing less. But, of course, you know when, when you lose, and I'm not saying this in an arrogant way as a, a fan of the team that won, but when you lose, everything that went wrong against your team is things that much more. It's things that much more like y'all know, like, and we could on the flip side, when you win everything that your team did wrong that day, it hurts that much less because even though like last week, of course, the Hollywood drops and whatnot, we, he was dry. He dropped all them the three, three passes and whatnot. And that hurt, but the Ravens came out the winners. So that made those drops hurt that much less had the Ravens lost. And a lot of people would have been looking at Hollywood, even though they still were. But you get what I mean. So now the Broncos, they were on the flip side of that. And they lost, what, 23 to 7. So I just, I don't think it's a big deal that Harbaugh and them, they wanted to go for the record. I mean, teams know, coaches know, players know that Harbaugh is a very aggressive coach. And I guess in, in, this, in this circumstance, the analytics called for, hey, let's not kneel the ball. Let's run and go get these yards. And I know some people have been like, oh, well, like pro football talk, Mike Florio. He's like, oh, man, the, these Ravens, the, the game is trying to be made safer. It, we're trying to make it a safer game, and there's no way to make football safe. 
like straight up. It's football. How, how can you make a physical sport like football safe? Anyway, uh, he said, we're trying to make the game safer. So, uh, but the Ravens, they decided instead of just kneeling the ball with the game out of reach, the game was over, uh, they, they wanted to run. So they, they created this risk for 22 players on that field. Like, there was not risk for them any single play. Like, we want to take that one play. Where well, they ran, and Lamar slid, by the way. Nobody even had to tackle him. Lamar ran, and then he slid. He didn't even get tackled. But it is what it is. So, John Harbaugh, hey, welcome to what Lamar Jackson gets on a daily basis. Welcome, John Harbaugh. Because usually John Harbaugh, he, he get off scotch free, and ain't nobody, everybody, like, oh, yeah, John Harbaugh, yeah, he cool, he this, he that, he's a great coach, Hall of Famer, da 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 but now John Harbaugh, hey, that, that little Lamar Jackson, hey, it's rubbing off on you a little bit now, Harbaugh. So I'm sure he will embrace it with love. And I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all. And we are out. Shout out to Graven.